how are you at sprouting? Do you know what sprouts are good for? Did you know how easily you can grow your own? You won't believe how easy it is. Benita Chitwell Varma is going to show us more. I was astounded by this, Benita. <laughs> I know totally. Every time I talk about sprouting lentils, people are amazed by how easy it is. And it totally is. I mean, we know lentils are so good for us, right? But when you sprout them, sprout the whole lentils, you're actually um, uh, tripling the nutritional benefits and also making them more delicious and easier to digest. So perfect, right? Okay, and, and for me, and, and I should have known better growing up on a farm, I always thought that bean sprouts were just something you bought at the store. I didn't realize that you could grow your own, but they're actually grown from beans, dried beans, or from lentils. Yes, they are. So anything that's labeled whole, so you've got your whole lentils, I've got a couple of examples here, but the easiest one to start with is this mung bean, which is the green lentil that you often see in the store, and it looks so intimidating, right? But if we, if we buy something that has the word whole on it, so whole beans, whole lentils, you can sprout them. Because remember, they are all seeds and they need a little bit of activation, which is what you see there. So you'd buy these in the dried form and you can hear the clinking, that's how dry they are. They've been sitting in a shelf, in a bag for years and that's how long lentils last in their dried form. And then we activate them. So put them in a bowl, all you need for this. And so this is the other reason I wanted to come on here, Annette, and show how you can do this easily, but with very few items, no extra appliances or tools needed, because you see this on Instagram, people are sprouting lentils, but they're also thinking this is a complicated process that needs um, all of these special gadgets, and you totally don't need any of that. So you need a cup of lentils in a bowl, rinse it out because it has been sitting on the shelf in a warehouse for years and then rinse it out a couple of times. I have a magic number of three and I rinse out things three times and then soak them in water with maybe a couple of inches to spare on top and so you'll see this. I normally do this in the evening after dinner is done and so you can see my dish towel is damp here and these have been sitting since um, since Sunday night. So soak them in water and... And then do you leave them covered or can you, do you have to cover them? So I cover them in water. So cover them in a couple of inches of water and then I put them in the corner of the counter behind me and I leave them for about 12 hours or okay. overnight. But and after then you the put, next morning. Okay, after you put the, the cover or, or the, um, the water on them though, do you have to have like a lid or something on it? Yes, so I use a clean dish towel. I am living in between cardboard boxes yeah. right now in between homes. And so a dish towel and a bowl is all you need because you do need to cover it. Because the two things that you need for the lentils to actually germinate is, um, well, it's a bowl and, well, it's the air and water. And so in the bowl, you put it in the bowl and then cover it with a clean dish towel so the air keeps circulating. And then the next morning you rinse out that water and then leave it a little bit damp. And so this is the example that you see here where they're a little bit damp and then I've covered them with the damp dish towel again for another 12 hours. So this is in its entirety about a three day process. Okay. And you can keep going if you want to because my kids like the shoots to be, and that's what you see there. So those are about an inch long shoots and they're delicious. I have, don't have the patience for that. So that is about three and a half days worth of work. Okay, I and, and we're running out of time, Panita, but I, I just want to tell people that we've got the recipe or, or the, the instructions, as easy the as they steps. are, up on our website, chch.com, with a link to your blog. But these are packed with protein and really, really um, cost-efficient, right? It's, it's a good, inexpensive way of getting protein into our meals. So thank you for showing us this. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad this worked out. Lentils, yay! <laughs>